Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is the 19th of March 2016. Our discussion is going to be on prisons today. In Genesis 39, we know that Joseph, one of the sons of Jacob, was in prison for 14 years and he was falsely accused of something that he never did. God blessed him and used him to help many people. In Deuteronomy 4.20, the Lord has rescued you from prison, Egypt, to be special people, his own inheritance. This is what you are today. In Judges 16, the Philistines put Samson in chains in prison. He was forced to make grain by pushing a mill as a mule. During a party, he was placed between two pillars, and they made fun of him. Samson. Samson prayed to God, repented, and for a short time his strength returned to him, and he destroyed many Philistines. Psalms 142.7, bring me out of prison so that I can thank you. The godly will rejoice with me for all your help. Isaiah 53.8, from prison and trial they led him away to his death. But who among the people of that day realized it was their sins that he was dying for, that he was suffering their punishment? Acts 16, Peter was in prison awaiting to die, and an angel came to him, woke him, loosened his chains, and released him from prison. Revelations 2.10 Stop being afraid of what you are about to suffer. For the devil will soon throw some of you into prison to test you. You will be persecuted for ten days. Remain faithful even when facing death. And I will give you the crown of life. An unending glorious future. So what I'm finding here, many of us are in prison unjustly as Joseph was. As John the Baptist as Jesus, Peter, and Paul. Sometimes we are imprisoned for no reason, for uh, things that we never did. God has released us from our prisons through Jesus Christ. The godly will rejoice when I am brought out of prison. This is talking about Jesus. Sin will cause us to die and we will remain in our prisons. I want you to think about this today. What prison are you in today? I want you to pray and God will hear you and he will relate, release you from your prison through Jesus Christ. I want to thank you and have a blessed day.